Elsewhere, a major metro school district changing the way it handles classroom COVID-19 exposures. Edmond Public Schools says it now has the authority to require students to quarantine if they've been exposed to COVID-19. News Force Caitlin Ogle is on the night beat for us. Katie. Well, the district acting on behalf of the Oklahoma City County Health Department, which just changed its quarantine guidance. This change means only the parents of the exposed student will be contacted, not all of the parents with kids in the classroom. We were already requiring them to isolate. We were not able to require quarantines. And that has changed. Edmond Public Schools Superintendent Angela Grunewald saying the district now has the power to require students to quarantine, acting on behalf of the Oklahoma City County Health Department. Now, only parents whose students have been within six feet of a student with COVID 19 will get the call to quarantine their kids instead of the whole classroom. Just because you're in the classroom with a student that's tested positive doesn't necessarily mean you're at risk. The duration of the quarantine, depending on whether the exposed student has been vaccinated. If they've had the shot, the student is eligible for quarantine exemption unless they're showing symptoms. If the student is not vaccinated, they're required to quarantine for seven or 10 days. We really want students in school five days a week. That is our goal. The district hoping to reach that goal by strongly encouraging everyone to mask up. Superintendent Grunewald says EPS works off of a tiered site by site system. It could be a grade level or a whole classroom. If 4% of a site is COVID 19 positive or exposed, the masks come on. We are not close to that percent yet. So if we get to that percent, that's when we will have to decide if we want to mandate without the law or not. And if the site reaches 5%, learning goes virtual. If they were to reach that percentage of cases, we would realize they needed to close for 10 days until we could stop the spread there. And there are more items in the fine print for quarantine requirements like vaccine exemptions and quarantine dates. For that, we have a link on our KFOR.com.